Todd Fred Renewable Energy System. Hello everyone, my name is Adam Clark, and to my right are Alice Chung, Steve Choi, and currently this year. We are to work on the design of an optimal, standalone renewable energy system capable of delivering 100 kilowatt hours of energy per day with peak output of 20 kilowatts. We will also implement a battery array to allow for three days of complete autonomy for times when energy consumption exceeds production. Now, to deal with the complexity and magnitude of the system, we decided to first design and construct a 1 to 100 scale prototype capable of delivering 1 kilowatt hour of energy per day with three days worth of energy on reserve. Now, the full scale system will likely be comprised of commercially available components, but we feel that this subproject will provide us with valuable insight into the constraints that we must consider. To realize the design, uh, Carolina and Q focused their research on solar panel and battery technologies and worked to simulate panel performance under various conditions to determine the best possible con configuration for use in our hardware. Alex and I studied the power electronics and designed circuitry required to regulate and store energy harvest from photovoltaic cells. To maximize this power, we're going to employ a digital signal processor to monitor incoming current and voltage and adjust the output of the DC to DC step down converter in real time. Additionally, we've added circuitry which will allow the DSP to manage current flow to individual batteries, which could potentially lead to increased battery life and reduce the overall cost of ownership. Now at this point, we've completed the prototype layout and have begun transferring the design to breadboards for analysis. Over the summer, we will have manufactured the entire system with full DSP control and uh, conduct field experiments for verification. We will also complete the design of the full-scale system on the system level and uh, complete with efficiency and cost analysis. We invite you all to view our progress at the poster session following these presentations. At this time, we'll open for any questions you may have. Thank you.
because you know basically right now just on average they hold about one kilowatt hour of energy. This is you know crude average right here. And but the thing is is that you can't you can't um, bring the charge down to a certain threshold range between like 50 to 60 percent. So you know if we're, if we're wanting to have 100 kilowatt um, 100 kilowatt hours of energy per day, we would actually need 400 kilowatt energy on storage. But in addition to that, we have to change the like, battery to below 60 percent. So there's going to be a lot of batteries for sure. That's based on the deep cycle marine acid batteries. You can't go below 60 percent. This is this is based mostly on um, on um, on the battery system. Okay, I think my understanding is you're actually going to build this and put it in the house on campus. Mm, um, the it's up to him. This is, uh, we're not going to build this. <laughs> we're taking subscriptions for that two hundred eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> so yeah, that would be the uh, that would be the ideal outcome. That's what we're hoping will happen. You know, like I said, we're, we should have numbers for you guys as far as costs next semester. So if it fits into the budget, you know, I'd love to see it happen. More than one of these